I've got a Christian friend in England who once said to me, you know, I envy you. You're Jewish because you're the great, great, great grandson of someone who actually left Egypt. At the Pesach Seder, we pass over the experience of our great, great, great grandparents. But somehow, it all seems such a long time ago. But is it really? At a typical Seder, there will be three generations seated at the table. A grandfather, a father, and a son. Now, let's say the average span of a generation is 30 years. So, a typical Seder represents a span of 60 years of Jewish history. But if you really think about it, there are not three generations at the table, but seven. Because the grandfather sitting at our table was probably a grandson at his grandfather's Seder, and our grandson may well be a grandfather at his grandson's Seder. So we can add two more generations before and two more generations after those actually at the table. So, the extended family sitting at our expanded Seder could contain 7 times 30 years, which comes to 210. Now, divide 210 years into the time since the first Seder, let's call it approximately 3,000 years ago, and you'll come out with the following calculation. 3,300 divided by 210 equals 15.714258, sorry, 85. In other words, we just shrank 3,000 years of history into 16 Sidorim, 16 Seders. That's all that separates us from our great-great-grandparents. It says in Pashat Bo, And so that you may relate in the ears of your son and your son's son that you know that I am God. The whole of Judaism is seven generations sitting at 16 virtual seders. Egypt is only 16 seders away. <laughs>